What is up guys, this is your boy Nistro here and this train just keeps on moving. So today we got ourselves another episode of Maximum Crisis Dissected and we are doing the magicians, the magical hands, all right? Three spell cards. So it starts off with Magician's Encore. You can target one level three or lower spellcaster type monster in your graveyard, special summon it. This effect can only be used once while this card is face up on the field. And now, so if not when this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one Magician Continuous Spell card from your deck to your hand, except another copy of itself. So that can only apply to two other cards, all right? And uh, we got ourselves the Magician's left hand and the Magician's right hand, all right? And uh, so it's a card that when you Mill it, when it gets sent to the graveyard, you just add another um, Magician's Continuous Spell Chakra to your hand. So, uh, you're probably asking me, what do these left and right hands do? What do these magical hands do, Nistro, man? Why why are you so hyper about this? And here you go, man. So let's start with the left hand, man. The left hand, once per turn, when a chop card or effect is activated by your opponent that resolves while you control a spellcaster type monster, Negate that effect, and if you do, or if it did not have an effect, destroy that card. So, while you control Magician's left hand, when you control a spellcaster, the very first chop card your opponent controls, I mean, that your opponent activates, that's obviously not a counter trap, because this, this thing is speed spell 2, it can't chain it to counter traps. So the first chop card or effect your opponent activates that's not a counter trap gets negated. Once per turn, every single turn, as long as you control a spellcaster. And as you can guess, the right hand. <laughs> the right hand, once per turn, when a spell card or effect is activated by your opponent, resolves while well, you control a spellcaster type monster, negate that effect, and if you do, or if it did not have an effect, destroy the card. So while you control these hands, right? These hands allow you to control the game. Especially the right hand. I mean, look at how many spells you know, decks to use these days. So, um, if you have a, a right hand on board, your opponent is going to be forced to waste at least one spell card in either, uh, like, bluffing just to uh, force right hand to activate or um, try to pop the, the right hand first and then, you know, uh, use all their spell cards. Um, so... When right hand's on the on the field, it kind of uh, gives you a bit of an edge. It's kind of like the the Mermail uh, Equip spell card. There's one for spells and one for traps. They're both searchable, and uh, although it has to be equipped to a Mermail, and it does give that Mermail attack points, um, it gets sent to the graveyard after one use. These guys these guys stay here forever um, until they're destroyed. You know, these guys are once per turn too. And uh, the reason why I think this would work so well in Dark Magicians is because of Encore's effect as well to summon out level 3 or lower spellcasters from your graveyard. Uh, you can bring back a Magician's uh, Rod. Uh, I was about to say Lance. Uh, you can bring back a Magician's Rod. And uh, if you have another Magician's Rod in your graveyard and you activate... Um, uh, a spell chop card during your opponent's turn, you can tribute the rod and add the rod back. Or, um, during your turn, if you play a rank 3 um, in Dark Magicians, I've seen it before, this card could definitely be helpful because if you normal summon a rod and then special summon another rod from the graveyard, free rank 3. Um, so, it's definitely helpful for Dark Magicians. Now, outside of Dark Magicians, we do have Pendulum Magicians coming out um, in June. Um, since I'm recording this in April, I, I technically can't say next month, um, so, but it's coming out in like mid, mid June, like June 20th or somewhere around there. And those would be able to use these guys as well. I, I think, especially with, um, the way that their deck works, I think these would be real nice additions to their deck. Um, but this is like any spellcaster that could play this. It's like, 
Um, and the reason why I think it's it's so well is because you know with a card like Foolish uh, Foolish Burial Goods, um, you can mill your Encore and then Encore can just search you uh, right or left hand. It's it's pretty much free, uh, and it's it's pretty nice too. So whether you actually need to play Encore or not, you know, um, and Encore you can drop it for Twin Twisters. You could drop it, you know, for a lot of things. You know, it doesn't have you don't have to use the first effect. You can just use it to drop it and then search your right or left hand. And um, so if you control multiple right hands or multiple left hands, then your opponent is going to be stuck in a situation where they need to get rid, uh, need to get rid of both of them because they need to resolve two spell cards before they can actually play uh, spell cards, or they just need to stop focusing on their spell cards and you know use their monsters to try to get over this type of stuff. Now, this is all while you control a spellcaster. So if they, so if you control a spellcaster that only has like fifteen hundred, and then they summon out an eighteen hundred monster and attack your monster, um, you, you're gonna be you're gonna be a little tight. Which is why I think it'll work better with um, Pendulum Magicians, because Pendulum Magician, uh, they have, um, on their scales, they have uh, effects that allow them to uh, not only protect, but to search and to change the attack and defense of, uh, you know, like, monsters on the field, um, while, so, like, their spellcasters can, can stay safe. And, uh, like, the way Magicians work is so crazy, like, it's... It's it's actually, um, it's actually a pretty nice deck. It's it's gonna get overlooked because of uh, the upcoming link format, but um, I will do another video on Pendulum Magicians when uh, they are about to come out. But for right now, I mean, still, I mean, consider like any spellcaster deck. Like, imagine if Magic Specters had this <laughs> at their prime. If if like every time. Uh, someone had a Kieran, they also had a, a right hand on the board, you know? I think that's why Kieran was banned, um, you know, beforehand, because they, they, they didn't want certain decks playing this. I, I do think Magic Specters could definitely benefit from, uh, from this stuff, um, because Encore, especially summons level 3 and lower stuff back, and then left hand or right hand negate stuff, it's, it's actually pretty nice, and, um, I'm pretty happy to see Magicians getting more support. Um... Yeah, this is all I have to say for now. I mean, left hand and right hand aren't really, uh, like, it's, it's nothing complex about them. It's just negate, negate, negate. You know, it's, <laughs> uh, although I, I would be, uh, if, if you don't play Magicians, uh, I would be wary of, of these cards. Just, like, I, I think it would be, it's nice to know that these cards exist. Because if you don't know that, if you didn't know that these cards existed, and then you went to a tournament, and then all of a sudden you see Magic Spectres again, like, why the hell are you playing Magic Spectres? Or why the hell are you playing Dark Magicians right now? And then they pull out a right hand on you, they give you that right hook, and that's when you're going to be pissed off. You're going to be like, what? You going to get a spell card? Yeah. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. This was Nisho here, dissecting Maximum Crisis. We are still not even halfway done with this. And, uh... See you guys on the next one.